So, Alex, tell me, what is the Local Album of the Year Award? Uh, Local Album of the Year is almost what it sounds like. Uh, all the albums that are handed in by local bands, local artists within the London community uh, that are original and full length uh, are listened to and we have a jury that's made up of uh, quite a few um, local business people who are involved in the music scene as well as a whole bunch of our DJs get together and we sort of discuss some stuff online, listen to the albums and then choose what we think is the best album of the year. So how is music considered for the local album of the year? Uh, funny story, if you bring it in, it's original full length, you are considered and automatically nominated. Uh, you will be notified. You do get a uh, email from us at the end of the year, so uh, that would be uh, in December mm -hmm. of last year. We sent in a quick email that your album's being considered. You have been nominated. Um, so really, if you have a full-length album that's original and you happen to be from London, you can always bring it up to 94.9 CHW Studios and just hand it in and you will be nominated for the next year. Is uh, there a cutoff date for when they can hand it in? Uh, we do go with just the um, sort of calendar year, so January 1st to December 31st. So if you want to hand it in for the 2010 year, we have already accepted a few albums actually that are going to be contenders for the 2010 year. So I recommend that you bring it in near the beginning of the year so you have more chance of getting some play by the DJs and that kind of stuff. More uh, advantageous to get it in before the end of the year. And uh, what is considered a local album of the year? Um, are we just talking about London or are there any outside areas? Uh, we have expanded to Aylmer. Um, and at one point we had considered Chatham. So we kind of say within our broadcast range is uh, how we specify. Um, so if you can hear us, uh, you can hand it in. We don't go as far, obviously, as Windsor, um, Toronto. They have their own little their own little things and, and their own radio stations. So uh, we do take account for, you know, Dorchester, St. Thomas, Aylmer, uh, Ingersoll, all those places in and around uh, our area. So when are the winners going to be announced for uh, the Local Album of the Year Award? Well, there's one winner out of all of the different genres that we have represented. Um, the winner will be chosen on Friday, January 29th, so at the end of January, um, between 3.30 and 6, which is a show that we call The Crosshairs that features our, our program director, Michael Brown, as well as Alana Mager. So tune in then, and you guys will hear who wins the big grand prize, 500 bucks and some uh, live in-studio performances. And how can uh, CHRW listeners, or just listeners in general, kind of get involved with the whole uh, local music? month? Uh, all of our DJs are aware that January is local music month, so you can always call in uh, anytime, every day, all day. 519-661-3600 is, is our request line. You can call in to any DJ and request any album uh, that spans, you know, as long as London has been around and as long as bands have been coming out of London. Uh, we've got a quite extensive um, catalog of uh, local music, and then, of course, our own DJs have their own little uh, local music that they keep, and uh, they will play it, and you'll get a good highlight and showcase of, of some of the greatest bands that have come out of London. All right. um, so why is it important to support uh, local artists? It is getting, a, well, it's easier and it's harder to get exposure, I think, for a lot of the bands. Uh, easier because everything is online now. Harder because there's so much of it online. Um, and so radio play for a lot of local artists is almost none uh, when you talk about commercial radio stations. Uh, there are no live DJs mostly at commercial radio stations anymore. So um, you don't make that connection with the DJ anymore when it comes to radio. Of course, if you think that radio is not important, which is not my way of seeing things, um, you know, then there's other ways of doing it. But I think it's just the sheer volume of stuff that's out there it really confuses people. Uh, so if you have somebody who is really involved in the local music scene that can sort of choose some of the better stuff out there for you, uh, it always is easier um, for people to kind of trust somebody, especially a DJ who is sort of well uh, in tune with the local community. Well, thank you very much for taking some time out of your busy schedule to chat with us. Anytime, guys, anytime. So, uh, listen to CHRW for Local Music Month. Thanks for watching another exciting episode of TV Western. And for all you music lovers, be sure to tune in to CHRW on January 29th as they announce the Local Album of the Year. 
If you like what you saw today, please check us out at tvwestern.ca. I'm C. And I'm Lauren. And this has been a TV Western production.